Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up restrictions on your iPad. And this is especially useful if maybe you've got kids in your household that you wanna kinda of lock down your system a little bit for whatever reason. And let me go ahead and explain what this is all about. So first thing you're gonna do if you go into your settings here, so we're gonna tap on that, it's gonna open up and what you're gonna do is look for general right along the left hand side here. Tap on that. Scroll on down until you run into restrictions and you can see right now I've got it set to off. If we want to turn that on, you're going to tap on it and then you're going to come up here to enable restrictions and we're going to tap on that. It is going to require you to set a password and this is so you can go in and change the restriction settings or turn it off at a later date and time but it also keeps it enabled so that whomever you're locking this down for doesn't have access to do it themselves. So it's a four digit code, it asks you to put it in twice, and once you've done that, you now have access to all of the restrictions here. I'm not gonna walk through every single one of these. I will highlight some of the key ones, and some of these will not appear on the iPad 2, or on the first generation because as we've gone through, this is a third generation iPad, you're gonna see things on here that you won't find on the others. For example, dictation and explicit language are key to the third generation iPad, but you're not gonna find them on the first gen or the second. So it's really simple and self-explanatory. You can turn certain things on and off. So you could turn Safari on or off, YouTube on or off. You can turn the camera and FaceTime on or off. And when you do things like turn YouTube off, it simply takes the app or it hides it. It doesn't really take it off of your iPad, it just hides it so it's no longer accessible. You can do install or delete apps. And for my kids, I actually tend to do delete app and I turn it off because sometimes they delete them by accident and it ends up being a bit of a headache having to go back and figure out what they deleted and then go in and reinstall it. So I turn that off. You can certainly turn dictation and explicit language on or off. You have the capability to go in here and turn location on or off, as well as accounts for mail and things like that. And then if we go under allowed content, this is where I say the most valuable elements are, especially if you've got littler kids in the family. You're gonna come in here and you're going to set your music and podcasts to off for explicit, if that's something you wanna turn explicit language off and not allow this, they won't be able to go in and listen to a podcast or music that is rated as explicit. So you can turn that off. You can also go under movies and TV shows and tap on those. And you can set either don't allow them at all, or you can select the, the rating. So TVG, TVPG, what have you. And the same goes for movies. Same thing for apps. You can come into apps and you can select the age group that you want for the uh, for all the apps. So don't allow apps, allow all, or you can select the age range, four and up, nine and up, so forth and so on. What's really useful here is the in-app purchases. So I have uh, kids in my family and I tend to turn this feature off because I don't want them to go into an app and then try to purchase whatever that app is selling and it rakes up my credit card charges. So I can turn off in-app purchases and the other useful one is require password. By default, it's set to 15 minutes. What this is, is if I go into the app store and I download an app and then I come back shortly thereafter and try to download another one, it'll do it for me without requiring a password so long as the 15 minute time period has not expired. I go in here when I set up restrictions and I set it to immediately and that's just another fail safe that allows me uh, to ensure that it's gonna ask for a password every time something is attempted to be downloaded and that's another way to help ensure that you're not going to get charged for things that you don't wanna get charged for by accident if your kids or whomever taps on something when they shouldn't be. The last thing is Game Center. You can, of course, turn on or off multiplayer games and adding friends. And when you're done, you can just go back to general and go about your business. If you want to go ahead and turn this off or if you want to adjust it, you just come back to settings, go in general, go to restrictions, tap in the code that you set up, and you can change whatever settings you've got there or simply tap on disable restrictions. It will ask you for the passcode one more time. Tap on that and you're done and restrictions are disabled at that point. So that's just a quick way of showing you how to enable 
and disable restrictions on your iPad, especially helpful if you have kids in the family. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to let me know. Otherwise, take care, everybody, and have fun.